The second important uh, canonical form representation is observable canonical form. Uh, we shall uh, this uh, this form is uh, useful when you are going to design an observer for a system. So, how to construct, how to obtain observable canonical form representation of this transfer function? What we do is that uh, we uh, rewrite this uh, transfer function in another format. Uh, simply, we have divided both the numerator and the denominator with s cube. So, s cube divided by s cube is 1. Uh, so, 9 s square divided by s cube that is 9 over s and likewise all other terms uh, both in the uh, denominator and in the numerator. We have simply uh, divided both the numerator and denominator with s cube. And uh, then uh, we have uh, multiplied this uh, uh, denominator with uh, uh, this y of s and brought this u of s to the, uh, to, to the right hand side of this equation to get this expression. So that is also simple. And then we further rearranged to write uh, this equation in this particular format. So this y of s multiplied by 1, this term is written over here. And then you have uh, this term 1 over s multiplied by u of s. And there is also a term 9 over s multiplied by y uh, uh, y of s. So, these two terms are written together over here. u of s minus 9 y of s and this 1 of s, 1 over s is taken common from these two terms. Likewise, uh, this term 7 over s square and uh, multiplied by u of s and here it is 26 over s square multiplied by y of s. Uh, you take uh, this 1 over s square common from uh, both of these terms and uh, you get a 7 uh, u of s minus 26 y of s. And uh, likewise, this third term 2 over s cube into u of s minus 24 over s cube y of s that is written over here. We have simply uh, rearranged uh, this equation to write in this particular format. We further rearrange uh, this equation. We take uh, 1 over s common from all these terms. <coughs> all these terms. So, what do you get? Uh, this term is written over here. Uh, 1 over s is taken common and you are left with 1 over s and then this term. And here, 1 over s square. You are left with 1 over s square. You have taken this 1 over s common from uh, both uh, uh, from all of these terms and uh, you again uh, this term uh, is over there and from uh, this one and uh, from th this term you again take 1 over s common so here uh, you are left with the, this term that is written over here and 1 over s is taken common from uh, uh, th this term. So, this 1 over s over here and 1 over s is over here. So, this uh, is simple uh, procedure and uh, then uh, we define uh, this uh, variable x1, a state variable x1 that is uh, equal to, that is taken to be equal to y of s and uh, we see that uh, this whole right hand side that is equal to x1 of s because x1 of s that is uh, defined to be equal to y of s. So, x1 of s is this entire right hand side. Uh, similarly, uh, this part, this part of the, uh, this expression that is given in other name x2 of s. This whole of the right hand side is given uh, this uh, name x1 of s and this part uh, that is given in other name x2 of s aap dono class se bahar chale jaye aap dono nahi aap se piche jo baithe hue hain ha ji aap dono 
آپ دونوں کافی دیر سے باتیں کر رہے ہیں اور میں آپ کو دو تین دفعہ روک چکا ہوں ہاں آپ دونوں کیا کر رہے ہیں تو اٹینڈنس لگاتے ہوئے باتوں کر بات کرنے کی ضرورت تو نہیں پڑتی نہیں آپ چلیں باہر چلے جائیں آپ جو کچھ بھی کر رہے ہیں آپ باہر چلے جائیں میں آپ آپ کے ساتھ آرگو تو نہیں کر سکتا نا کہ آپ کیا کر رہے تھے اور کیا نہیں کر رہے ہیں سو وی ہیو ڈیفائنڈ دس پارٹ ٹو بی ایکول ٹو ایکس ٹو وی ہیو گیون اٹ دس نیم اینڈ لائک وائز دس انر موسٹ ٹرم دیٹ از گیون ان ادر نیم ایکس تھری سو وی رائٹ اٹ اوور ہیئر ایکس تھری دیٹ از گیون دس ٹرم از گیون دی نیم آف ایکس تھری x3 of s is equal to 1 over s multiplied by 2 uh, into u minus 24 y and uh, now uh, x2 of s what is that that is basically uh, this uh, entire of this term uh, that is uh, x2 of s is uh, this term plus this one which we have given the name x3 so x2 of s is written over here x3 plus this expression this uh, this uh, this term uh, is given the name x3 and this expression and then what will be x1 x1 will be equal to x2 this thing inside uh, blue box x2 plus uh, this uh, this expression that is written over here 1 over s uh, this term plus x2 Uh, once we have uh, these equations, we can further rearrange these equations. This first equation uh, is written over here. Uh, simply bring this s to the left hand side and uh, rest of the things are same. u of s minus 9 y of s. Instead of y of s, uh, we have written x1 of s because y of s is equal to x1 of s. And uh, here, Uh, you uh, rearrange uh, this equation as well uh, bring s to the left hand side s x2 of s that is equal to 7 u of s minus 26 uh, this y of s is equal to x1 of s plus x3 of s and likewise uh, three equation so uh, from this transfer function you perform some procedures uh, and finally you obtained these three equations which are written in Laplace domain. Uh, we write uh, these equations in time domain. <coughs> so what is time domain representation of this equation? What do we get on the left hand side? x1 dot. Uh, x1 dot uh, is on the left hand side and on the right hand side this term 9x1 plus x2 plus u. The argument t is again omitted uh, that is understood all these variables u, x1, x2 and x3 these are function of time so those arguments are omitted likewise taking the inverse Laplace transform of uh, this uh, equation we get this differential equation and inverse Laplace transform of this equation gives uh, uh, this uh, uh, equation so you have state equations three first order differential equations that uh, describe uh, this system You can write these equations in matrix form that you already know. Uh, x1 dot is equal to minus 9x1 uh, plus x2 uh, plus 0x3 and plus u. This is first equation. Likewise, uh, the second equation, uh, you see it is the same. Minus 26x1 uh, and uh, plus x3 plus 7u. This and last equation is written over here. What about the output equation? Output equation, uh, we have defined y to be equal to x1. Uh, so in time domain, that is written over here. y is equal to uh, 1 multiplied by x1. This particular uh, state space representation is called observable canonical form representation. Again, you see there is a spatial structure of this uh, system matrix. Uh, here, uh, once Uh, all entries are zero and in the first column first column uh, what uh, what are these coefficients again uh, these uh, these coefficients written over here uh, with negative sign and uh, this particular uh, representation is called observable canonical form 
uh, we had previously obtained in other representation of the same transfer function. Uh, in that case, again, we had a special structure of this matrix uh, A, special structure of matrix B, and that particular representation was called controllable canonical form representation. This one is called observable canonical form representation. So now I think uh, this procedure, whole of this procedure to obtain observable canonical form representation, that is clear to all of you. Any question up to this point? Uh, we can also uh, uh, represent uh, this thing with uh, signal flow graphs. So again, the same transfer function and the same equation which we had uh, written on the previous slide. And we want to uh, represent uh, the signal flow graph for uh, this particular uh, system. So we uh, denote uh, signals with nodes. You have uh, the signal, input signal u, the output signal uh, y. And uh, y, uh, that is given over here. And uh, y is basically equal to integral of some signal, 1 over s multiplied by all of these terms. So what are these terms? Uh, we had given uh, this term in other name, <coughs> x2. And uh, so this, uh, uh, this term inside these uh, brackets, that is equal to this thing plus another signal. So uh, we, uh, this is another signal that is inside this blue box that is over here. So 1 multiplied by this uh, signal inside this box and then uh, u of s multiplied by 1 minus 9 multiplied by y of s. Uh, and uh, this signal integrated that gives you y of s. We have simply implemented this equation. Uh, 1 over, uh, so inside uh, this brackets, uh, that is a sum of uh, this term, this term, and uh, all these things inside these brackets. And whole of this integrated, that gives you y of s. So that is clear. So how to obtain this signal? which is inside uh, this box, blue box. That is again uh, integral of some signal. So this signal, which is uh, inside this box, that is integral of everything inside this thing. So, and what is this signal now? Uh, right. So that signal is equal to this signal, this signal plus uh, this one and this one. So that is shown over here. 1 multiplied by uh, this signal, uh, 7 multiplied by u of s, and minus 26 multiplied by y of s. And uh, we repeat uh, the same thing. Uh, now this signal, uh, this entire signal, uh, so we, we talk about uh, this thing, uh, smaller box over here. So that is integral of this signal. Uh, this signal over here, that is integral of something, integral of this thing. And this thing is basically uh, 2 multiplied by u of s, 2 multiplied by u of s minus 24 multiplied by y of s. So this is a signal flow graph representation of uh, this uh, uh, this uh, observable canonical form uh, representation of this transfer function. We have uh, defined uh, these variables in this way. This x1, uh, this y was called to be equal to x1. Uh, this side, this thing inside a blue box, that was uh, uh, th this is x2 of s, and is uh, this this is x3 of s. Integral of this thing is s x of s. Integral of x2 is s x2 of s. And likewise, this, this thing. So this is the signal flow graph representation of observable canonical form uh, representation of uh, state space models. <coughs>